Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 5.0. And today is day 61. So yesterday we focused on teaching you how to create a testimonials capture page for your agent site using the consumer applet. And today we're gonna do the backside of that. So basically creating the testimonial display page that you can have on your agent site through the consumer applet. So let's dive into that. We're gonna click on the consumer applet icon here, last one on our current list. We will have agent site pages and you can see the testimonial capture we created yesterday. We wanna create a new page today and that's gonna be on our agent site. So we're gonna create the page. First thing we wanna do is retitle that page. So let's just say we called it testimonial display. And then from there, we're going to choose one of two applets for this to be utilized. So you can see on the right hand side, we have the testimonials carousel and the testimonials list. The difference between these two is how they are displayed and the number that are displayed. So if we use the testimonials list, the, uh, they will show up exactly like it sounds in a list from top to bottom. And you can choose up to five testimonials to display. If you go with the carousel, think about how photos are shown on an agent site, right? You see one of them and then they kind of circle through to the next one and then the next one. That's the testimonials carousel and you can select up to three using the carousel. So let's choose uh, the list for this option. We're gonna drag that over and then we're gonna come down to configure this. So we'll click on configure widgets, choose the testimonials list and you can see then that we have the opportunity to edit the headline and the intro text. So here is the headline. It says from our clients. I'm good with that. So let's put from our clients. And um, uh, since 2013, Marty Miller has worked with residents of Katy and Houston. Here's just a little of what they have to say about working with him, right? So whatever you want to put in that intro text, next you're going to see the client details. So you'll see on this example, first name, last initial, the city, a client sense, and then their neighborhood. So you can decide what you want to see as far as the client details go. And then finally, you can see selected testimonials. So if I click on browse testimonials, you'll see all that are available. And right now I only have three. These are all obviously all fake that I came in and put in just for this testing, but I can choose which one of these I want to select. So when you first come in, you won't have any of them selected and I can come through and select which ones I want to choose. I really like the way Keller Williams has done this because sometimes when you send someone to a testimonial site, you ever had that person that never gives out five stars, like nobody's perfect, and they give you a four star review, which is like, oh, it's always the worst, right? In this case, if someone was to give you four stars, if they were to say, Marty was excellent, except for this one little thing that he did, well, it wasn't a big deal, but I'm still writing about it, ugh, right? So you can select which one of those testimonials you actually display on your page. And if you're not in love with what they had to say, it doesn't go on your page, you have complete control. So I'm gonna click on continue and then you can get an idea of what it looks like, right? So it says from our clients, here's the information, here are all the reviews. If I click on save and apply, and then we're gonna do save changes. It'll say, would you like to continue in order to publish? We're gonna say yes. We're gonna go through the exact same process that we did yesterday. So we're gonna click on add page and we're gonna do testimonial display and then continue. And then you'll see it's gonna say, okay, what do you want this page to read? So page title would be um, reviews about Marty, right? Something along those lines. URL slug is reviews about Marty. And then SEO description, here what real life clients of Marty Miller have to say about working with him. Whatever you want that SEO description would be, right? We're going to click on save. And this setting is now updated. 
if we go to this site, which was RTT agent, all right, RTT agent .com, we should see this now as a sub page underneath the menu. There it is, reviews about Marty. And if I click on it, you'll see here are those three reviews that we selected. If I wanted the carousel view, just to show you what that looks like, we would go back to agent site pages. We are going to edit this page and we are going to use the testimonial carousel. We're going to get rid of the testimonial list, right? And then we are going to configure the widget. Whoops, there we go. Now configure the widget. So uh, from our clients, and then you can see the client details, which ones were selected. Let's save and apply. And now you can see it's a little bit different, right? So it's, it takes up less space on the website in general, but it doesn't have that description. And I can only select three to actually display. So if we went to publish, just to show you what it looks like, now that we have published this, this should be updated. And so if we go in and we do a refresh, you'll see this is what the page now looks like, right? So not as much content really, not a, the best description. Now you could always come in, right? And again, we're just kind of learning more about editing these pages. I could still put in my agent profile at the top, right? And then have the demo, the, you know, my actual reviews down here. Um, so that's another way to do it. If you were on a team, you know, you could bring in the team widget or maybe your company profile widget uh, to get rid of a widget. You just click on it and then you should be able to delete it from there. So a couple of different ways that you can build out what you want your page to look like. Personally, I really like the testimonials list uh, because it has that description. So, um, but again, that's going to be up to each of you and how you want to build that out. Again, just always remember that whenever you're adding agent site pages, it's a two step process. First, you have to create the page, which you will see in this list. Then you have to come to site and app settings, agent site pages, and make sure that the page has actually been selected. So you can see the actual review page where people would leave a review for me is not on my site. Now I can still send them there. Right. And so I can come in to, uh, no, I apologize. You have to have that on the actual site to send them there. So I would have to go back in to site and map settings, agent site pages, add a page, and we would do the capture. So, uh, tell us about working with Marty, right? Something along those lines. And then the slug could be working with Marty and uh, just had a recent closing with Marty as your realtor. Tell us about your experience. Boom, done, save, now on our page, right? So you saw previously, it was just the reviews. Now if we do a refresh, we'll have the ability for someone to review us and then the reviews about. One last thing, if you don't like the order, right? So I kind of would want this one first and this one second. I can always come back in and move these by clicking on the six little dots. It'll save. Now I can come in, do a quick refresh. And that should update the list. So there you go. Now let's tell us about working with them. And there's reviews about me. So that's it for agent site pages. There are um, you know, several other different ways you can build out agent sites, but like I said, most popular is creating a testimonial capture page and then displaying those testimonials on your agent site. Tomorrow we're going to dive into landing pages, so stay tuned for that. And as always, I look forward to talking to you again real soon.